Come pray for me. Go away from him. Go. Go see him. Lift him up. Because I'm concerned. Just concerned. Because, you know, I've been uh, observing the issue called uh, prophetic school. And then I was checking how many people were prophesying out of prophetic school. I've been checking that. And I found that it's not what we think. It's not what we think. Let's check how many people say, I'm coming from prophetic school. Now I can prophesy. Did you find one? For me, I've attended prophetic school. Now I can prophesy. They are, number one, there are people who are born to be prophets. So let's talk about prophetic school. That's number one. There are people who are born to be prophets. So let's talk about prophetic school. If there are people who are born to be prophets. So in prophetic school, okay, they were taught prophecy in their home. Number two, they were prophets, but there was Elisha. They were prophets, but there was Elisha. Even today, we don't know, we don't know where are those prophets, but we heard about Elisha. I'm not saying we are not supposed to do prophetic school. I'm saying, please. Show me one person who's coming from prophet school, who's prophesying. Because everybody wants to be a prophet, and the wrong people, as long as they've got money, they will go. If now I open Bible school here, you won't come. You will come. Where are you called? So now, how can we make a prophetic school with the people who are called to be prophets. Uh, me, I think too much. Uh, let me leave it to you. I'm just thinking. What I'm saying, I'm thinking. If you are born to be prophet, or you have to be parted to be a prophet, so how can we have now a school now of the prophets? who are called to be prophets. How do we know you are called to be prophet? So these people who are doing prophetic school, where, which school were they attending? So I'm not, I'm not criticizing anyone. I'm trying to say to you people, can you be in the church you serve? Can you be in the church you do what? You serve. Because now you attend that school. You go to that school. You say, who told you you are called to be a prophet? Nowadays, people, when they want you to come to their churches, they will tell you, you are called, you are called, you are called. But the issue is, you are called for what? And what is it that they are supposed to teach you which they have been taught in the prophetic school? That's why I'm trying to pray for this, this young man. So you can look at him now. Look at this young man. You say what? What are you saying? You people here, you are lazy. What you are lazy of, you have to use money. You are so much lazy. You have to use money now to go and attend prophetic school. And whereas you're not called to be a prophet. 
Do you think God will change his mind by the school? You say what? Uh, I was just trying to speak with you indirect. But, uh, I mean, if I start a school here, my school will be of opening eyes. You understand what I'm trying to say? Now, who told you that you're going to be a prophet when you come to me? Huh? No, that's what you said to me. And also, I've been... In the dream. In a dream, yes, in that dream. You appeared like, I think, four times or five times in my dream, saying the same things, but in different, um, different occasions. So now, do you need a school? No, sir, I don't need it, sir. So you're the one who say you're under training, is it? Yes, I did say that, sir. So that's why I prayed for you. Go and read the Bible. He said, he himself, God himself, choose some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. So he himself, we don't do it on our own. Let's leave prophets to be prophets. And you save. You save. If you can save, it's God who will decide. He will decide. He will say, We must pray for you. He decides. I'm praying for you now. You see, I'm praying for you. <laughs> you are blessed. Let us all stand. Say in the name of Jesus.